So Brother Califor was turning into Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome back to the Monastery, part of Haunted Cities Volume 2. Now, last episode, I kind of went on a rant about uh, not being able to bend down and pick up that key. Yeah, I feel kind of silly. I went back and read the README file and uh, learned the controls. So, let's pick up that key, shall we? Yeah. You can look down! Which helps out, because now we got the key, and we can go to the chapel and see what other mysteries await us in this ironically godforsaken place. <laughs> traveling, traveling down to the corridor with the evil door. And now... Is it chapel? Holy crap, it's a chapel! What are you? A trowel. You picked up the trowel. Yes, I did. Anything else in here? The word sermon is written across the top of the page. At the center of the page, a centipede appears to have been chopped into pieces. Its fluids have long since dried on the paper. It's like a five-year-old what was that? Did, did, did you guys see that? There was like a, a sudden flash of like silhouettes or something. There was peoples, I think. Ghosts or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. But there's only one place I can think of that you would use a trowel and uh, the infirmary is not it. I say... The garden. Why do I have a feeling that I'm going to be doing something that uh, normally would be frowned upon heavily? Where are you? Aha! Here you are. Which one are you? Grave marker. The inscription reads, Brother Lumbricus. Alright. Sorry, brother. I'm going to have to do a thing. You dig up the grave, you uncover the body of a man with no eyes, whose skin is slick and translucent from head to toe. He appears to have been stabbed in the chest. Who is this that I, whose grave I'm going to desecrate? Sister Periplana. All right. Diggity dig dig. You dig up the grave. You uncover the body of a woman with the legs and segmented underbelly of a cockroach. She appears to have been stabbed in the chest. They've all been stabbed in the chest. Dare I say, ceremoniously. Grave marker with bears no inscription. I bet you this one is part of the puzzle, maybe? You dig up the grave. It proves to contain not a body, but a small, thin glass knife wrapped in a scrap of old cloth. You pocket the knife. Ha-ha! That's two knives that I have now. A grave marker. The inscription reads, Brother Califor. Dare we? I don't think that it's going to be anything else other than that knife in the other grave. Let's see what happened to him. You dig up the grave. You uncover the body of a man with the eyes and arms of a fly. His mouth is a flaccid graying tube of, swallow of sallow flesh. He appears to have been stabbed in the chest. So Brother Califor was turning into Jeff Goldblum. Props to anyone who got that reference. All right, so I think that's all we need from the garden other than to be utterly creeped out by the fact that the sky is red. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. So, onward. To what exactly?
I don't know. Wait a minute. Hmm. What do I do now? I don't know. I've unlocked all the doors. I know that much. But what does that do now? Can I go out now? A pair of heavy wooden doors leading out of the monastery. They refuse to budge, though they don't appear to be locked. They seem to have been barred from the outside. Survivors are clawing at the wood from the outside, trying to undo the boards they erected to keep your followers trapped within. It seems there's nowhere else for them to retreat. So, apparently, the invasion has begun, and the bugmen are going to rule. I don't know. But that's what it seems like the story... Excuse me? Who doth roar so? Nobody in here. What about in here? Hello? Do I really want to go chasing after a horrifying scream like that? Maybe not. <laughs> But who knows? I've got knives. I might be able to stab them. In the chest, as per tradition, I guess. I don't know what else to do. That seems a little bit odd and out of place. Because it was odd and out of place. H Hooray! You pick up the slender knife. The handle feels slick and it numbs your fingertips. Okay, so now I have three knives. Hang on, my brain is doing something. Maybe I need to go to the other hallway. What about that door with no handle or anything? The f I bet you that that's what's waiting for us. So look at that. So, because we've got three knives, there's three slots there. Now, I may not be much of a problem solver. I may not be the smartest knife in the tool shed. But I can count to three at least. You gather up the three glass knives and slide them one by one into the slots. Each produces a slow, viscous gout of watery red ichor. The knives dissolve, their handles drop to the floor, and the door begins to slide upward into the ceiling. Yeah, just like that. Nice. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, this place uh, definitely doesn't seem normal. Purple flames. Purple flames of evil. Yeah. And of course, we gotta go through here. This door is massive, sturdy, slick with the same red watery fluid that seems to coat everything in this place. Beyond it you can hear wind, the rustling of leaves, and a high constant and constant droning that makes your chest feel hollow. You open the door and step through. We be outside. Whoa. We really are outside. <laughs> 
in a another dimension, I suppose, maybe? But the sky is the same color, so maybe not. I don't know. These monks have discovered teleportation. <laughs> All right. So what's going to... Oh. Okay, it's another one of those situations where I gotta go on the path. There's no exploring. I'm a little disappointed in that, but eh, whatever. So, also, that buzzing is getting louder. Listen to that sound. Yeah, I, I, I can hear it. How can you not hear it? There's nothing but that sound. Hello? Anybody out there? Full and bright and incessant. Uh, that's... That last one's definitely a good descriptor for it. Ah, yay, yay. The buzzing of flies and such. Insectoids. A thousand million pale thin wings. Yeah, I'm guessing that too. Considering this entire scenario revolved around bugs and insects and things like that. All of them yours? My! I have a strange taste in pets. Oh. Hello. Hi, hi guys. Okay, are you what they're referring to? Bow to me, bitches! Honor us. Well. That was an interesting one. And as usual, the game ends by just shutting down. <laughs> but anyway, that was Monastery, part of the Haunted Cities Volume 2. Let me know what you thought about these so far. I mean, there's still more that we could check out. And I'd love to share them with you guys. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, take a look at some of the other videos that I've done. You might like them. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.